On this emergency episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be trying out the mag of holding on the newly buffed Jack Devastator aftermarket part for the Reclaimer 18 shotgun, which got a huge increase to its fire rate, and we'll be revisiting the cast off LSW, but using the broken tax stance build for it. Let's go try them out. So not only did they buff these Jack Devastators, but they also kind of nerfed it a little bit too, because if you'll remember in our last video we did on it when these first released, the fire rate on it was very slow, but you could get around it by doing the reload method by shooting and then spamming reload, so your fire rate was a bit faster. So they went ahead and fixed that and buffed the fire rate. As you can see here, we can actually shoot pretty dang fast, but the downside to that is that we can no longer put in slugs or bolo rounds while having the Jack Devastators equipped to our Reclaimers, which is a bit disappointing because I don't think there's been a shotgun so far in this game to actually perform without slugs or bolo rounds, but you can put Dragon's Breath rounds in. I currently don't have them in i don't think they really make that big of a difference it's i don't think they work the same as like incendiary rounds worked before they were like nerfed and i don't think they add too much to shotguns but i could be down to try it if these seem promising and so far here in tier one not doing too bad and we are taking another look at the cast off lsw because last time in the middle of me recording the other video completely forgot about this underbarrel part and now i've been made aware that in tax stance it actually moves way faster oh well, i guess slightly faster this is the tax stance movement speed this is just the ads movement speed so i guess tax stance is a little bit faster which i guess is still pretty good for an lmg while aiming down sights and i can shoot while i'm doing it and it could move even slightly faster if i had on uh, a different magazine i have the 150 round on here but i just want the extra 200 bullets so we're at an even thousand by the time we get up to pack a punch but we already know the damage on the cast off lsw i want to see what the reclaimers can do now and it actually looks like it's taking out some tier two zombies here and let's go ahead and see if the reload method works on these so far not looking like it the reload seems kind of slow we don't have speed cola on yet uh, i'm gonna wait till after we pack a punch to activate that but so far i think the fire rate is pretty similar to what it was like doing the reload method anyway so we actually might be safe from uh spamming our reload key now let's see if we can actually do anything with these in tier three without pack a punching or upgrading them now with this fire rate buff um we actually broke the helmet on the fully armored zombie pretty fast and got a decent amount of his health gone and they're Get me right back. I just want to see his health bar again. Where did uh, our guy go? I see him. He's like right in the middle of this whole horde. Oh, okay. I guess we can just see a little bit of damage that we're doing to some of these other zombies. And that actually did a, a decent amount. I am running for my life though. I am very scared. <laughs> Stay back. Okay, pull out the mortar strike and we just got to book it. They are not giving me any time to reload here. We need to make a play. Uh, Grab this. Throw the decoy and let's try again. I don't know if there's a damage difference on uh, tier three zombies while in tier two. There might be. I'm gonna just shoot them anyways and see what happens. Oh yeah, look at that. We got a decent amount of damage off that fully armored zombie, but I'm getting out of here now while we still have a chance. And I kind of want to keep the camo on our reclaimers here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pack a punch our LSW. That way I can defend myself really quick from these zombies. All right, let's put it in attack stance. Yeah, this gun still kicks ass. I just completely forgot tax stance was even a thing. But while we're on the look for a pack-a-punch machine to smack, let's go ahead and grab a tier two bounty to get us warmed up and uh, get a self-revive back. And we'll see if we can find a machine on the way. Let's give this thing a smack. And now we can go ahead and pack-a-punch this, get them to legendary. And is the reload any faster now? Nope, still stays about the same. Let's try with speed cola now. So let's try this. this is the reload method. I'm trying to alternate shots as well. And then this is just the normal shooting without doing the reload method. I guess it is a bit faster to do the reload method when you actually need to go and reload. But there's not that big of a difference. I think the reload method might just be like slightly faster. But I'm thinking with this new and improved fire rate, we can actually just use Maggle holding now. The big downside to using Maggle holding prior to these being buffed made it so you couldn't do the reload method. Like you don't have the option to reload, so your fire rate was just slowed. So I'm going to hold off on using that Maggle holding for a bit, but I will use my perks. All right, Mimic, where are you? We got some business to take care of. This is a little dangerous, actually. We're fighting them in uh, some pretty close quarters with no self-revive. How much damage are we doing? We shot them like, what, four times with each gun? I see your health bar, please, sir. I accidentally threw a thermite. Um, we got them down to almost half. 
Okay. So the damage isn't looking bad so far without slugs. Actually kind of uh, surprising. I wonder if they changed it for all shotguns. Oh, and they gave us two self revives. Then we're going to need all, th all the help we can get. I'm feeling a little frisky. Let's go ahead and clear out a stronghold. I'm trying to think if it would be better for me to shoot these both at the same time to get as much damage as possible on whatever I'm trying to kill. Or if I should do what I normally do with like akimbo like pistols and shoot one down to about half or a little bit less than half ammo and then start shooting them at the same time. So I always got one firing while the other one's reloading. I think that's probably the smarter option, at least until we try Maggle holding on it. But now we can take these for a spin here in tier three. Now that we got them pack a punched, we gotta get our revenge on all these zombies and they actually seem to do pretty decent. Still no slugs involved in these. This is, this is groundbreaking. This is a first for this game. These shotguns doing damage without slug rounds. Never thought I'd see the day. Let's just slap some zombies around here on the Outlast doing the reload method. It actually looks so sick like this. It almost reminds me of like somebody pulling out like dual revolvers and shooting from the hip. I just feel like a sharpshooter doing this. I'm like John Marston. This has got to look really dumb in third person. Let's see. Oh, I forgot I'm, I'm playing as the Arby's operator. And I call him the Arby's operator because he's got the three arms, the three heads. You already know he's got the meats on him. And he actually does have like the, the outlaw hands sitting there at the hip. It looks like he's ready to grab his revolvers from his waist. This is so weird, dude. I like almost never play in third person in this game. I look like a madman over here trying to do this. All right, let's go back to first. But as much as I like the reload method, I really, really want to try out Maggle holding. I want to see if it's actually usable on these now. So we can just sit here and spam the guns. It does feel a little bit slower, at least a little bit slower than the reload method, but at least we don't have to take that one second to put the guns away. And how many rounds are we getting with this? 168. So I don't think that changed. And I guess I don't got to worry about alternating guns anymore either. I can just shoot them both at the same time every time. This is actually so much nicer than before. I can't believe how slow they had the fire rate. It must have been like some kind of bug or something. Because in the original preview or like the preview video for these aftermarket parts, the fire rate was insanely fast compared to what we got in game. But if they're going to fix these, they should go back and fix some other aftermarket parts that are ass. Because there's a few of them. A lot of them feel like they didn't even try them out in zombies. Like they, they do no damage at all. But we've seen how these can do against zombies in tier three. What about a tier three HVT? What do we got? Oh, and it's abomination. Just what I want to go up against. What's going on, dude? Uh, let's go ahead and throw a monkey bomb to start. He's already shooting a laser. We got to get to him. Can we break a face? Oh, it's not looking good. Damage is all right, I guess. Uh, it doesn't seem to have that great of damage range. Like it's taking out these zombies in one to two shots, but we need to be up close and personal against this abomination if we want to take them out because we don't have uh, the tightest pellet spread. It's still doing pretty all right damage wise though. I'm just surprised we didn't break the face. Maybe it's just one of those times where uh, his face is like invincible, but he still takes damage for some reason. Let's see. That right face has got to go. Okay, we got it. We went down, but we took it out. And I am low on ammo. So uh, zombies to the monkey bomb with you. If you could drop me some ammo, that would be appreciated. And disciple, I need you to go. You're interfering. Throw a quick decoy. Let's try to break another face. Can we get the middle gone? Please. Oh, he stopped shooting it. So it's not doing enough damage to break his face on the first, like, go around. We just have to try to persevere through the laser and get as much damage on him as we can. Because we got him, like, at half health with one face gone. We're also out of ammo again. Ammo is becoming an issue with these. I'm sure this would be better if I was just strictly fighting zombies so I can get some drops. But the ones that are showing up here are only really giving me armor. Come on, we got to get a face broken here. Please. There we go. Metal's gone. It didn't stun him at all, though. He just immediately went into biting. Oh, and he's going to yell. Let's try to get up close as possible to him. What's his health at? Oh, it's actually really low. That almost took him out. Dang, you actually need to be like nose to nose with whatever you're fighting uh, to get the max amount of damage. I even have a, a choke on these shotguns to make the pellet spread a bit better. But he's gone. His body disappeared. Oh, he went floating up there to die. We sent him to the sky. Oh, and he dropped a legendary Aether tool. Give me that. I just hit a crazy octave. But I was waiting until we saw this against an abomination to put an ammo mod on it. So let's uh, throw some brain rot on. Or should I throw on napalm burst? I saw it on the ground over there. Nope, I'm sticking with brain rot. These things are going to be on skibbity. We already tested out the Kazdov LSW in depth, but 
I want to mess around with the tax stance build a little bit more. It kind of feels like I'm gliding. This is actually sweet. It's like my bullets are propelling me backwards. It's like a, a cartoon. It's like I have a leaf blower and I, I'm sending myself through the air. Oh, and we're actually kind of dodging his laser there with the movement. He can't keep up. He can't catch me. Can I actually outrun his bites while just shooting and moving? Maybe. Nope. It's close though. I can dodge his charge at least a little bit. It's it slightly stunned me. I have not stopped shooting at him. I, I went with a more tax stance centric build on this, so our accuracy is a bit better. And I even put a shorter barrel on, so we have a little bit more movement speed. And he's just eating all 1,000 of these rounds. This is such a mindless weapon. I love it. If they do ever end up nerfing this hard, please only be in multiplayer. This is perfect for zombies. And we'll see you later, Abomination. Night, night, buddy. Oh, wait. He decided to close his mouth. Now you should be done. Bye-bye. Now let's give these things a real test and bring them into the Dark Aether. Last time we brought them in there, they did pretty all right. I don't think we made it through the escort contract, but I've been struggling with that one. But maybe we can do better against the entity now. And if they still don't got the range to hit the entity's orbs, then our cast off can carry us through the fight. Well, let's just go ahead and set that up real quick so we don't have to worry about it. I'm gonna do it flawlessly this time. No mistakes at all. That is a lot of zombies though. Okay. I still refuse to use the arrow finder. We don't need it. I can find my way around here just fine. I think we got it. I think we're good. Yes, sir. And let's see if I can figure out how to get onto the whale without a scorcher. Oh, probably the stairs. Come here, Moby. No. <gasps> oh, almost fell. Give me that. And let's see if we can survive this outlast. No! All right, first down's free. Mimics always end up sniping me out of the fucking air or wherever I'm doing. Mimics are just too good of shots. They never miss. And unlike the cast off, I don't think I can just sit in a corner and just shoot it. I don't think these are as strong as that. But we're still making it through killing the zombies. This boss on their hands a different story. And there's a casual on the ground, so I might as well use this one. Give me that. Nice little freebie. Oh, and we're doing all right damage to this guy. The EMP doesn't really affect us, and we actually just took him out. We must have just hit some crazy crit, or he just glitched out and died. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say we hit a crazy crit, just for fun. Yeah, nice try, zombies. You thought. And that's the contract. That's the ball game, guys. Go home. You're done. You lost. What loot do you got for me? Ooh, some goodies. I guess I'll just use this right now. And I don't... You know, we don't need another self revive. We're good. We're fine. All right. Come here, spore contract. No, I missed. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Excuse me, zombies. I, uh, am a hurt bird. I fell out the tree. I need to get back to my nest. Give me that. Oh, shit. I was so close to falling to my death there. I think I'm about to do something blasphemous and drop my decoys. Let's go ahead and stow the cashmere. We're going to throw a thermite at our feet and we are going to grab the inhibitors because we still have a decent chance to find another decoy on the ground later on and with our bandolier i'm not that worried about it because we can always replenish our cashmere's even though it takes like 45 minutes but either way this contract's still stupidly easy only hard part is getting around i think i i got my my paths figured out i got it locked down and game if you're feeling generous go ahead and give me a nice reward for for doing all that oh thank you game god damn now if the zombies could just leave me alone long enough so i can get my loot do i need all these self revives probably yeah definitely do i don't know what to get rid of to grab our our next legendary aether tool i guess we're fine we got three right now i got a decent amount in the stash you know we're we're legendary aether tool rich at the moment now time for the hardest challenge let's go ahead and start up the escort and let's clean it mimics you are not getting near this thing okay he got immediately inside of it. Fuck you. Mimic's gotta be like the scariest elite in this game. They're the only ones that constantly put up a threat. I guess Disciples a little bit too, but they're just more tanky than anything. We're at 78%. We're fine. It's not the greatest percentage to be at going into the first stop, but it could be worse. Could be a lot worse. Might actually have to use a cashmere here. Just stay away. It'll also help me get a little more ammo. Jeez, the amount of Mimics is crazy. Okay, all right. Relax. I like how it still moves if I'm just down on top of it. I do not care. This thing just does so little damage from range. 
It's only like a, a one little part of the, the spread on the shells hitting. All right, Disciple, fly away. Lenny Kravitz. I want to get away. Another cashmere time. We're 55% with two stops left after this. We can do it. My Pack-A-Punch camo literally just left my gun. We shot the camo off the weapon. And we might have to break into our emergency stash of cashmeres just to make it through this. And I'm not going to be try to be a hero this time and go start up the boss fight for the entity. We don't need to go fight the key carrier right now. That's just guaranteeing that we fail this contract if we do that. We're at 34%. On our last stop, I'm going to have to just use our jug. And hopefully I'll be able to defend it with the jug. Since we're out of cashmere's, we're gonna be cutting it close. I want to go preemptively throw it down, but I'm scared it's gonna accidentally land in the path of the ACV. Okay, right here I can probably do it. Let's throw it there to make sure it's out of the way. Oh, and there's the abomination. You're gonna eat a thermite immediately. Let's aether shroud. Let's get to our jug. Let's make sure our ACV's all right. Gotta protect that. And we can work on the abomination too. Oh damn, I'm getting slapped around. I just heard it finish part of the contract. It finished doing the super slurp. It just needs to launch the rocket now. Abomination is gone. Almost went down using that. But just launch. Get out of here. Scram. Let's go. We did it. We cleaned it. It's done. Hell yeah. Actually made it through. And what did we get for our valiant effort? Pack three crystal and a pack two. All right, let's get our key holder. How are we doing against you? Let's get up close and personal. I do not have an Aether Shroud ready yet. So we're just going to have to tank the damage inside of this. Oh, we're actually fucking him up. He's gone. Night, night, buddy. Give me that key. You better be ready, Entity. Because I'm going to bring a world of hurt down on you. Ooh, a Scorcher. Do we do we take that? Oh, we, we had an extra space. Let's go. It's time for these Reclaimers to get their revenge. Unless we actually cannot hit the, the orbs at all. Which I'm... Starting to think we probably won't because we already weren't doing any damage at range to the zombies. I don't think it's going to change a whole lot right here, but we will try. Spot in your orbs before you start attacking. Asshole. What? What? Are you just invincible? That's not fair. Oh, they're there, but they're invisible. Okay. Can I hit marker at all? Uh, a little bit, but I can't even tell if they're breaking. I hope they're not invisible the whole time because I'm not going to know which one I'm missing. And I don't think our shotguns are hitting them, so we're just going to have to guess with this and try to remember where all of hers are at. There's one on the head, head, shoulders, and hips. I think she only has them on her hands during the uh, Elder Sigil fight. Oh, they, they're back. They're visible. Okay, we can try the shotguns again. Let me get her at least low on one of the orbs. Nope, they're not even hitting. The spread is way too wide. Ooh, and maybe I shouldn't have put the short barrel on here if we're going to be fighting her. I guess we, we we can take these orbs out. I just need to be a little more accurate. Come on, we need to get them all down. That's where that big damage is. There we go. Nice. Just got to keep that up. Keep cleaning these phases. Come on, last orb. Don't you teleport. Oh, she's doing an attack. We're chilling. We're good. We're fine. Oh, and an insta-kill? I wonder if I can I can hit it now. Let's see, from back here, will any of those land? Can I get a single hit marker from that? Nope. All right, cool. We tried. I didn't think insta-kill affects these. It'd be cool if it did, though. Oh, I can't hit that orb. There we go. Don't teleport. Perfect. We just got to do that, like, two more times. Oh, we actually get her from right here. We don't even have to follow her over there. I probably will, though, just to be a bit more accurate. I want her to see my eyes when I kill her. I want to see the, the light go out. Oh, shit. She's got one orb left. Please do not teleport. Please do not teleport. Please do not teleport. Thank you. Appreciate you not teleporting. Oh, fuck. Don't do it again. Stay. Bitch. And we are down to our last self revive. That would have been uh, massive if we got that right there. So we got to really pay attention to the zombies around us. Got to make sure we're armoring. Can I get a cashmere? Please, Bandolier, do your job. We got one, but I'm going to save it for the next time she teleports. Because we might be able to get it right here. Okay. Yeah, we got we got to do it one more time. Okay, cashmere now. That could even possibly get me an Aether Shroud. Which would really help out in this situation. Come on, one more. Oh, I guess two more. I thought that one broke. 
There we go. Perfect. Night, night. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, we did it with the shotguns. Oh, yeah. There was no way we were, we were hitting it with that. The spread is just way too crazy. These things do not do well at a distance, but up close and personal, do some crazy damage. What did we get for that? More legendary aether tools and a disciple bottle. Eh, I'll take it. Let's get out of here. And I guess since they did so well without any ammo, let's go ahead and try it with the dragon's breath rounds now. How are you liking it, zombies? Oh, they love it. They're eating it up. How are we doing in tier two with no upgrades? Still does pretty decent. This fully armored, or I, I guess light armored zombie, fully armored for tier two, went down pretty quickly. Let's see how many shots it actually takes. Let's go one, a two, a three. Oh, sweet. And how are we doing in tier three with no upgrades? Let's just target the fully armored zombie. Try to light him up. Reload is still very slow without speed cola or pack a punch, but that's a good amount of health taken off of him. Even broke his armor. Okay, all right. These actually might be nice. Dragon's breath might be crazy. Okay, and so am I, apparently. Crazy to think I could run away from those zombies, but I'm just gonna go ahead and pack a punch it all right now. Get it to legendary speed cola immediately. Please do not knock me. Please do not knock me. I do not want to go down. I do not want to go down. We need to get the hell out of here. Let's just bully a tier two bounty real quick to get our self revive back. What's up, disciple? You liking these? You enjoying these? Oh, shit. I'm a, I'm a dumbass. Well, we'll see if we can get a good Samaritan to come over here and pick my dumbass up. Oh, he killed my bounty. Let's go. My hero. Let's equip that right away. Oh, and we got speed cooler right back. Okay. Now I should, uh, I mean, not talk about bullying bounties anymore. The second I get even the slightest bit of ego, the game puts me in my place. All right. That last bounty was a fluke. I only went down because I'm dumb. Now I, I'm a little bit smarter, I guess. I, I've lived through the experience. Night, night. Oh, we got stamina up back there. Slowly giving us all of our perks. You know what? Let's keep the risk going. I only got one self revive, but there is a bounty calling my name. We take this out, we'll be good. We'll have the funds to do whatever we want. And against tier three zombies now, while we're fully pack a punched, still messing them up. But it's going to be really embarrassing if I have to ask for another revive. I might just leave the game. Let's do something smart this time and throw a decoy. And then we can light them up. Can we stop them from healing? We can. Uh, let's try to do our reload method since we don't have MAGA holding on quite yet. His mask isn't breaking. The, the fire rounds don't seem to break the mask very easily or just armor in general. Well, I guess maybe zombies armor. But disciple armor? That shit don't want to break. And it's not doing that much to him. I thought it'd be doing way more. Oh, um, we're out of ammo. We're gonna have to thermite. Go to the decoy, go to the decoy, go to the decoy, go to the decoy. Thank you. Let's get a nice fully charged Scorcher going that way. Give me some ammo and some armor, please. Just what we're looking for. Let's throw another decoy. And let's get right up on him. I want to be right next to him and hitting him. I'm hitting him right in the gooch. That's a new crit point. And we finally got his mask broken. And now we're starting to see some real damage. Let me just keep trying the reload method. It honestly seems a little slow. I'm just probably hitting it out of uh out of rhythm he's very close to dying let's just lock in and take him out see you later pal oh shit oh fuck that's not good that's my only self revive are you so low health why did you fly so far away you better not heal i didn't do nothing to make you fly all the way over there oh and now he's healing off of him you know what you deal with him thank you and we need to go spend this money on a self revive now. And I learned nothing from my mistakes. I'm doing another bounty. And I'm just going to go ahead and use our Maggle holding right now. I can't even uh, get into the rhythm for the reload method. We need all the help we can get. And we already almost immediately went down. Let's try to get some nice and easy damage on him while we're in our Aether Shroud. Okay. He did not seem to take that very kindly. Why don't you shoot a laser, please? Can I get some good damage in? Oh, we are already out of ammo. Please. Stay away. Stay back. We're going to reload here and keep it moving. There's the laser we've been looking for. Can we break a face? Nope. And we're down again. We are struggling more with these. They look more flashy. Definitely, uh, you know, let you see all the dragon's breath behind them. But even up super close, I feel like it's not doing as much damage as uh, just 
the normal rounds. Like we get that little passive effect after you shoot them, it'll do a little bit of damage after the fact. But I don't think it's enough to really justify using Dragon's Wrath on these. It's a little goofy. Let's go ahead and add Napalm Burst to this too. See if we can't uh, somehow squeak our way out of this. And let's throw a Thermite at him. Those always work. Get another one. Eat it. And then we all tr try to take out that last face ourselves. And no decoys right now is really hurting us. Might have to... Th oh, shit. Okay, the server's really hurting us too. We are fully dead here. There's no way we don't come out of this lag spike and not be down. Or maybe the server's just going to crash, which would be cool. And then I, I think I get to keep the stuff in my inventory if it's the server's fault. Pretty cool, though, to see the whole game, like, paused like this. A nice, uh, close look at all this. Oh, he moved slightly. And there we go. Well. Awesome. Do we actually keep our stuff? Or is it just going to double cuck us? Let's see. Oh, we do. We kept everything. All right. Well, it just gave us a refund on the Dragon's Breath rounds. Honestly, can't wish for anything different because they really weren't that great. Anyways, final thoughts on the newly buffed Jack Devastators. They're pretty good. I would definitely recommend using them without Dragon's Breath, as we just saw there. And I think if you had a blueprint saved from before with slugs on them, it should still work. I wish I would have saved it so I could test it because that would be absolutely busted. But unfortunately, I didn't have the blueprint saved. But overall, it's a pretty decent buff for these weapons. They, they do pretty well now and you don't need slugs for them. Not that you could use them anyways. And of course, with our little cameo with the cast off LSW, still very good, still does very good damage and just the tax dance build for it is really fun to use. You just move so fast. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all our love and support and I will see you in the next one. Later.